All right, part two of our double header here with Isaac uh, Rodriguez's found footage films that are on Tubi. Uh, we just covered his film, um, The Mr. Mr. Creep. Creep, and we both really enjoyed that. Yeah, we um, did. And this one is A Town Full of Ghosts, yes. which I can't speak for Kaylee, but this one I didn't really care for. And unfortunately... That's a bummer because I did really like the other three films of his that we watched. Yeah. Um, and I don't think this one's horrible by any means, right? I just think it's kind of blah, mm. right? Um, so as far and what do you think? I'll give a plot synopsis um, after I'm you the say same. that. I wasn't a really big fan of this one. I was, yeah. Blah is a good way to describe my feeling towards it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, as far as this one goes, there is a couple who are um, investing in this ghost town. The husband thinks it's this great investment. The wife begrudgingly accompanies her husband's business venture. And ultimately, she doesn't want to do it, but she's being the, you know, the good partner and, and trying to um, humor him in, in, in something like this. But... That's usually a bad idea. You guys both got to be simpatico on something like of this magnitude. Anyway, they get there and um, they find out that you know murders had happened there. And there was some woman who was burned there. And all the town died once upon a time. So it's a town full of ghosts, just yeah. as the title had suggested. Um, he brings on a crew of his cousin and his girlfriend and some random guy to clean the place up and um yeah that's really it there, there's ghosts and you know things uh, uh devolve from there so i think the biggest takeaway from this film that anyone who watches it that's a horror fan and and will be able to connect very obvious dots is this film apes a little too much like there's homages for sure in film that I'm like, oh, that's cool. But this one, it, it, it's just borrowing too heavily from The Shining. We have too many elements here where you have a, alcoholic, a, a, a former alcoholic who's trying to stay away from the bottle, but of course gets tempted back into the booze. We've got a, a maze that's on the property. We've got a double-sided ax. We've got, you know, there, there's so many elements that are so obviously shining inspired and it's like it's it's one too many mm -hmm. like i like the i like the inclusion of the maze right i like that stuff but like you can't take too many elements from another movie and throw them in here because now if the film worked i would just be like well it's kind of a shining ripoff but i enjoyed it mm -hmm. right so i wouldn't really care ultimately but i guess when i wasn't feeling the film it wasn't the shining ripoff that was like lessening this film for me no. but now that i don't like it i can point out in my opinion that it apes a little too much from the shining yeah that's not what i disliked about the film right um it's kind of weird because like i liked the location a lot i thought yeah. that the ghost town was really cool mm -hmm. um so i was a big fan of that yeah. and i liked the concept as well um, it kind of sure. reminded me, actually, of the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre mm -hmm. with, like, buying a, you know, a ghost town and trying to transform it into a tourist destination. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I, I think I was maybe not as big on the performances in this. Um, I think that the lead left something missing for me. Like, I just didn't really connect with his character, and, I, and, and you know, you're really supposed to, I think, connect with him the most, him and his wife. Yeah. And for some reason, both of them, I just wasn't vibing with it. I don't think that they were, like, horrible performances or anything. I just, I don't know. <laughs> I, it just left me wanting more. I, I yeah, like, because, you know, as we were saying in our last review, like, it, it is, you know, these films are, like, amateur filmmaking, so the acting is amateur, Mm -hmm. Um, but they, they weren't terrible or anything. I just, I think I just didn't feel the passion and I just didn't like super believe their relationship. Like they are kind of having marital problems, but it wasn't that it was like, I just didn't feel the chemistry there. And I don't know. Um, 
I also just kind of was not super impressed with some of the scares in this, and I think that um, with the setting and, like, that there could have... I, I don't know. It's weird, because, like, I'm thinking about the film, and, like, I like... I liked the maze, like, I really liked the concept of the maze, and I liked these aerial shots that were done of it, but for some reason, it just, like, it wasn't clicking for me, like, I just wasn't as invested yeah. in the characters primarily, and then I feel like the atmosphere wasn't built as much as it could have, especially with such a cool setting. I guess those are my two main things that I'll say. I definitely agree with you the most on the atmosphere that's not created in this one. Mm -hmm. um, and I do think that is partially due to uh, the performances. While, you know, albeit not terrible, just not compelling or, you know, as you, as you had said, kind of like connecting. Mm -hmm. um, so th that's an issue. But my, my biggest issue is, is, and this is why we're here, right, is, is the horror and how it's presented and how it's executed. And while I think there's some interesting ideas, yes. there's just, yeah. you know, a, for us, um, a lack of execution that was successful in this one. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, we've watched three other films that Isaac Rodriguez has done, and he was able to convey uh, his vision for those horror sequences and his atmosphere well in those yeah so i think it was just with this one um you know i could i could honestly see it could be coming down to the fact that they rented out a ghost town and were probably um strapped for time right Maybe. because i looked up this place that they filmed it and they rented out per like day mm -hmm. for shooting films like it very specifically says on the website it can be used for photography or film mm -hmm. you know and this and that and, and with these films having such a low budget I'm going to assume that they probably had a very short window mm -hmm. of time to sit here and shoot things and once you get on location as we know yeah. things can go wrong so fast and you can go and you can look at dailies and you can be like wow this isn't wor really working um, and, and you have the luxury when, when you have a budget to be able to be on set and, and mm -hmm. to reshoot and, and to work things out and, and let actors find their characters and stuff like that. But like when you go into these situations and, and you're doing kind of not specifically like gorillas type of filmmaking where you're going without permits, but you're doing almost this like expedited, um, you know, uh, filmmaking approach it can really hamper that uh, sure. outcome. So I have a feeling that this is a rushed production, mm -hmm. like that they had like, I'm just completely speculating here. But while I was watching it and looking up this location, I was, I was kind of figuring that they had days mm -hmm. um, to film this. And, you know, maybe things weren't gelling as well mm -hmm. as they maybe wanted them to. But... You run out of money, you run out of time, yeah. and then you piece together the film you got. Yeah. And you say, this is what we got to work with, right? So, and I and I see what he can do mm -hmm. when given, you know, uh, more time to spend in a location like his house and in, you know, some abandoned building, which in Mr. Creep, I'm pretty sure it's the same building in that as he used in uh, last the last radio call. Or last radio call, um, yeah. So that must be some building that he has access to. Mm -hmm. uh, I could be wrong. That's not the same building, but it looks really freaking similar. It does. So, so maybe that's some building that he knows somebody there and he gets to be in it more. And, and very small amount of the movie takes place there mm -hmm. in both of those movies. And the entirety of the film takes place in this one big location that they had to rent out. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to chalk it up to rush production. Mm -hmm. Because I do think that there's good ideas here, um, but just wasn't connecting. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna defend it. I could be totally wrong, and sure. and Isaac and other people might watch this and be like, no, <laughs> and that's fine. And and uh, but yeah, this this was just a miss for me. Yeah. Um, but not terrible. I think that if you're a found footage fanatic, and you're and you're looking for 
more you stuff. know more stuff I, I don't think this is a bad watch no I don't I don't, I don't either I think I think you'll be underwhelmed with it but yeah. I you know I don't think you're gonna hate it no right I think you're just gonna kind of be like oh that was like the worst of his films so far right. like of the four that we've seen um but but still okay yeah you know um but the least inspired as far as how it was made so that's that uh but i mean three out of four films for us it's pretty good uh on these budgets that i'm sure are minuscule yeah i'm impressed definitely i would i would be happy if i was him like if i made four films and three of them were were pretty damn good and and one of them was like mm, that one didn't really work that happens art is like sure. that yeah right? well and i don't is... know a, i don't know a director that has multiple films where I think one of them is like, eh, that was kind of a misfire for him. Well, sure. And yeah, I mean, some people will watch this and really love this film too. So like, you know, it just Maybe. depends. Yeah. So let us know if you watch it and uh, definitely check out his other films. Uh, we'll try to get on the Astral Woods that is currently out right now. Um, on VOD, I don't know if it's on Tubi or not. I can, sh you can check. I, I'm going to check later. I, it doesn't have a time on here either. Mm. So I don't know how long this one is. But uh, that one is not found footage. Because mm. I asked Isaac. We, we had a little tiny quick chat on Facebook Messenger today. And I had asked him about his films. And was like, which ones are found footage? And he said this one wasn't. But I'd still be interested to see yeah. how, he, how he approaches more, more traditional, traditional. Yeah. Um, narrative filmmaking. Me too. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, check it out if you want. Um, but honestly, it's the other three I would suggest. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, guys. 